YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Crypto J coming at you guys with yet another J Talks Crypto. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button as well as bell notification. I do my best each and every day to give you guys the top picks in cryptocurrency. And guys, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. Just wanted to give you guys another little meme coin madness follow up video. A lot of people have been asking me uh, to just kind of give like a little follow up video to a couple of coins um, that have been trending as well as I just want to give you guys kind of like my take on what's going on with Bitcoin. And again, look at this fear greed index coming in at 56. What did we say in, for the past couple of weeks, guys? Those of you guys have been watching every day. What have we been talking about, right? Um, but as you guys can see, total market cap on cryptocurrency today coming in at close to 2.3. Wow, up 5%. Are we surprised? <laughs> my, my followers are not surprised, bro. I don't know. Maybe you are maybe you haven't been tapped in, but we're not surprised over here, guys. You guys could see uh, our fear greed index now coming in at 56. We have been talking about for months uh, now the fact that we were creating this wedge um, with uh, Bitcoin here on the fear greed index and the fact that it was looking eerily similar to what we did last year right where we had this little touch here right before our big parabolic run up and i was even saying i'm like man this right here looks so much like this right here and if we have this uh retest right here and we do break out we could possibly see this wedge breaking out and guys look exactly what's happened this wedge seems to be breaking out um that was just the other day uh, literally on the 10th, we were down here at a 37. Um, and today is the uh, 14th and we are up today at a 56, almost back into the green guys, very, very close to the green. Uh, the only thing that we kind of have to pay attention to is just shoulder head, shoulder here. That could be a sign of a dump. But again, guys, the trend is looking like a reversal right now. And for cryptocurrency in the month of October, um, it's kind of, Kind of not unheard of. Um, so again, I, I, I'm pretty bullish. I feel like a lot of the market is very bullish on the market. As you guys could see, 65% of people bullish on the market. A lot of people have been talking about the stock to flow chart um, over here as well. 67% actually bullish on it right now. But as you can, can see, we did reject off of 66K. So can we break above it? Can we hold above it? Uh, it's definitely something that we want to know. But again, guys, feel really good about this price pump. Of course we can always break back down but if you could see on the one month chart also again we needed to break out of the 64k now look what's happening right we got this cup and handle forming on the one month also on our one year chart we are looking like we are starting to round out and create a larger cup and handle on the one month chart or on the one year chart so that's very bullish and then if you look at our all-time chart you could see we have a nice cup and handle here and then we have uh both uh flagpole right here and then we have a bull flag right here that is looking like it's already starting to break to the upside again these are more macro scale charts and that's what i generally look at and that's why again i'm not as fooled by the shakeouts and the fake outs because again i'm always looking long term and that's why we pulled up so many long-term indicators guys when just in the past couple of uh months but that is definitely what i do in times of these bitcoin corrections i always pull up my long-term indicators Sometimes I'm even looking at four, four or five year indicators, again, looking to see stock to flow charts and stuff like that. So those are all charts, in my opinion, that help. Um, but again, guys, not financial advice, not trading strategies, nothing like that. So do whatever you want with your funds. Use whatever indicators that you want. Those indicators have worked for me. Um, and as you guys could see, because I've been talking about this live in real time, every video um, that that um that's working for me so again that's just it but uh as you guys can see over here on dex tools too a lot of these other coins are doing really well as well a lot of people have been asking me um to do an update video on some of these coins so um turbo coin is one coin that i was saying that was trending a lot over here on dex tools and um a lot of these coins right look at look at some of these coins guys. i don't even we're gonna make a lot of videos, man. We're gonna have to make a lot of videos, but as you guys could see, uh, Turbo Coin is one coin that um, that is starting to see a big breakout. And one reason why I felt really good about Turbo Coin, again, not financial advice, not telling you to go buy this coin, don't go buy it. How about that? Um, but again, is that Turbo is listed on um, some of the biggest exchanges now, and it got listed on a lot of these big exchanges all at the same time. Let's see where uh, Turbo is now listed, right? Let's see where people can buy turbo at. So as you guys could see, turbo coin over here now up 33%. Absolutely pumping. Turbo coin is available over here on Binance. You could get it on OKX. You can get it on Kraken, Howby. You can get it on Gate.io, KuCoin. Guys, they listed on Kraken. Or no, they listed on um, 
was it Kraken? No, it was KuCoin. They listed on KuCoin and they listed on Binance in the same day. And then they listed on like two other exchanges. And I was like, oh, these boys are cooking. That's when I knew. And I was looking at some of those top wallets and I was like, okay, a lot of these wallets are like Binance wallets and stuff like that. It's going to, this thing is picking up in volume. Um, and it could have some serious potentials. You guys could see this cup and handle played out in a big way. Um, wow, Turbo Coin totally taking off. How much upside can this thing have? Nobody really knows, right? It's totally unpredictable, but you guys could see in the over this year, it's up 16,000%. Past month, up almost 200%. Sheesh. Past seven days, up 88%. Man, if you would have caught my Turbo video that I made a month ago, boy, be up 200%. I don't know. Again, I wasn't giving financial advice in that video, nor am I giving it in this video. But if you would have done your research, maybe you would have liked this coin. But that would be dependent on your research and the extents of your research that you did, right? But anyway, guys, <laughs> let's talk about some of these other coins that are trending over here that I also predicted would be trending. Um, so Pepe coin, right? Was Pepe coin a coin that we've been talking about for years now? Pepe coin coming in at number one. Nero coin is another coin, guys. Another coin that I was saying. This coin, dude, look at Nero coming in at a billion, man. How many times do I got to, how many times have I guessed a meme coin that has touched a billion dollars? Does anybody know? Can anybody even like, dude, like, it's crazy. At least maybe like, I don't know, maybe like 100 or more. Probably in the hundreds, I'd guess. Um, but Nero is another coin that I was really watching a lot. And the reason that I was watching Nero too, same type of deal with uh, Turbo. They just listed on everything all at once. And to me, I'm, I, I just felt really good about that. But let's see what the rest of the market kind of feels um, about Turbo or about Nero. Again, nobody really knows, right? It's not not foreseen. But as you guys can see, they are listed here on Binance. They're listed on Halby. They're listed on Gate.io, KuCoin. These are all the big exchanges, guys. I mean, Halby, KuCoin, and Binance. Those are like the biggest exchanges right there. Gate.io also massive exchange. Um, so that's what, that's what I was really paying attention to. And that's what I was saying, like during that Bitcoin dip of saying, yeah, you know, during these Bitcoin dips, I pay attention to volume during these Bitcoin dips. I pay attention to what the, uh, exchanges are looking at and guys, um, I don't know, but as you guys could see over here too, have we talked about any of these Solana coins either? Like, have, have we seen any of these coins, um, talked about that were trending again, guys, these coins are still the coins that had the volume. You guys can see they kind of are trending again. You could see Mad Coin trending again, Punky Coin trending again. Uh, this Daddy Tate Coin over here almost hitting 100 million, dude. Um, to Tuker Coin, Harambe, uh, Land Wolf. These are all coins that um, have been trending in the past that have been mentioned in prior meme coin madness videos. Again, not as financial advice, just as coins that you might want to do your research on yourself because they keep trending, kind of like Brett coin and, and Miggles and some of these Boomer and, you, you know, some of these coins are trending again. So they might be worth um, paying attention to and doing your research on because maybe they can do pretty well. Maybe. Who knows? Nobody. That's who. Um, but I want to know your guys' price predictions um, for a lot of these meme coins. Also, do you guys think that this is the meme cycle that everybody is thinking on CoinMarketCap? Or do you guys think that we need to go back down um, for some reason? I'm, I'm, I wouldn't be quite sure. I also would say that one chain that I would pay attention to, but not for the good reasons, was this Tron chain. And was I right? Was I right, boys? I don't know. You guys tell me. Was I right? Am I making all this up? Am I crazy? Am I crazy, boys? Let me know in the comment section. Is your boy Crypto J crazy? I might be crazy. I don't know. Sometimes I think I'm crazy. Um, but let's see. <laughs> let's see uh, if we can see any other uh, new hot trending pairs or if we can catch any other things that are maybe like um, listing and stuff like that. Right? Let's go on CoinGecko. Let's go over here to CoinGecko and we can kind of see what's going on over here in terms of market cap. Um, so as you can see, the total Solana market cap coming today at up 10% on all Solana coins across the board. Come on, bro. What 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 ecosystem did I say was going to be pumping the most probably during this? Come on now. I told you guys Solana was going to be 
of taking up a lot of that market share. And it's because of the beginning of the video where I was talking about what's going on with Ethereum and what's talking going on with uh, what's called what's going on with Ethereum and what's going on with Solana in terms of how those two charts were looking and the fact that Solana was just looking so much more bullish. But some of these coins, guys, even wow, look, Book of Meme Coin even starting to pick back up in volume. Interesting to see if some of these coins can pull it pull this off right uh again book of meme up 63 percent um also mew this is another coin that we were saying um that was picking up in popularity over the uh the sketchy cycle right but you guys could see look nice cup and handle playing out on Mew. interesting on this three month chart maybe a project that you might want to go do your own research on and not um just go buy it because you just saw a video on it go do your research on this one maybe might be worth doing some research on um let's see also some other coins that might be worth doing some research on that i told you guys might be do worth doing research on uh, another one was popcat right i talked about popcat extremely early guys popcat coming in at a 1.3 uh billion dollar market cap creating some new uh higher lows um and if you look at some of these uh larger charts on here popcat is possibly creating a, a bull flag maybe so Again, that a lot of things are going to be looking good, though, right? A lot of things are going to be looking good because Bitcoin's looking good. That's why you have to go out and do your research. I think I said do your research maybe 100 times in the video. I'm sorry about that, but yeah, do your research. Um, as you guys could see, also, Punky is another coin that I told you guys, do your research. And as you guys could see, Punky starting to also see a breakout. This coin is creating a little bit of a rising wedge here on the seven day. You do want to be, a, I, I would be a little bit uh, paying attention to that. Um, but some of these other more macro charts are showing a little more bullish. I mean, maybe this could be a bull flag, but also it could be a rising wedge, right? So hard to say. If you look at the one-year chart also, looking like a nice, solid, possible recovery for Punky Coin is button up, up on some uh, key resistance here. So definitely looking to see if that thing can break out. If that thing can break out, again, we talked about the fact that they have a lot of holders over there. You can possibly see some significant upside. Look at Bonk. Wow. Wow, look at Bonk, dude. Bonk up 12% today. Another coin that I was telling you guys. I was telling you guys that I'm paying attention to this. Look at the one-month chart. Showing bullish, showing cup and handle. Um, looking nice. Again, rising wedge here. Why are why are these coins creating this rising wedge, guys? It's because Bitcoin is having this little rejection. Th that means that these basically these coins were picking up in volume, and then Bitcoin started looking sketchy, so these coins started creating charts that look sketchy. It just how it works. So as you guys can see, this rising wedge is forming right now on the kind of on the one month and rising wedge is technically, I mean, we're making higher lows here, but also um, this could be a sign that this coin might see a little bit of sell off. Um, so, but again, looking on the 24 hour chart, looking pretty solid. So all speculative guys, also not a financial advisor and again, not financial advice, but um, let's look at some of these other coins too that are in these top coins that have just been performing really well during the dip that I have been also paying attention to. Let's look at Fog. Fog is a coin that I've been very speculative of. Um, but as you guys can see on the three month chart, it's looking like it is still holding its volume, right? Coming in at 187, uh, 187 million market cap and creating a bull flag right here in the one year chart. Um, interesting. Maybe a coin you might want to do your research on. I don't know. Up to you. You are the adult. You are in charge of your money. Let's see uh, Moo Moo the Bull. Another coin that we've been um, speculative of on the channel and talking about and looking at, as you guys could see. Um, creating also nice cup and handle. Um, picking up in volume pretty nicely. And this another coin that has $138 million market cap. These are coins, some of these coins, man, Due to the fact that they've been trending so much on Dex tools and they're getting more like notice on Twitter and stuff like that, like people are starting to know what these coins are. So when they keep seeing that they're trending and then they're seeing like, oh, the coin's up thirty percent today, the coin's up twenty percent, coin ten percent, you're gonna start seeing a lot of FOMO in the market. I feel like on some of these coins, and I'm not saying it's gonna be this coin, I'm not saying it's gonna be any of the coins in this video. I'm just saying. Um, we're probably going to see that in a lot of altcoins. Uh, as you guys can see, though, nice cup and handle playing out on this one month. Also, bull flag as well. Interesting, interesting. Let's see. Also, Miro coin, another coin that um, has been trending often and was talked about on the channel. This thing seeing a massive 
price pump just recently. Um, as you guys could see right here, is Miracoin at a new all-time high right now? No, not yet. Um, well, not yet. I shouldn't say not yet, but it it's nobody knows. Nobody knows that this coin will hit an all-time high. I'll say that. Nobody knows. Um, but as you guys could see on the three-month chart here, creating a nice cup and handle. Also on the one-month chart, all things just showing that Miracoin is picking up in volume again, creating this bull flag. And this is what you want to see in a coin's recovery. And that's what I've been saying. You know, when Bitcoin does these moves, I'm paying attention to where the volume goes. I was even paying attention to where the exit liquidity was going on all of those small dumps. And that's why I was able to um, be like, okay, I feel like this coin might do well. This coin might do well. Um, this Tate coin also is another coin that is growing in popularity, moving its way up the charts that I was saying. I mean, dude, I mean, you guys are up significantly on this coin. Um, but look, look at this, man. I mean, this thing is looking like even a cup and handle, even on this, on these smaller charts right here on this three month chart, looking like this thing might have a run, dude. This thing could have a run, dude. Cup and handle again, always speculative. Definitely do your research. What are these charts looking like? Positive. But again, it's not financial advice and I'm not telling you to buy it. As a matter of fact, don't buy any of these coins. Don't buy anything that I talked about. How about that? That way I don't have to get any confusion people denying. You said this. You said that. Um, but let's look at some of these other coins too. Um, uh, I also like to look. So one thing I like to do, again, because I look, I'm a macro guy. I like to look macro. I pay attention to these also seven day charts. Sometimes you can catch a come up on these seven day charts, boys. I'd be looking for things that look bullish on the seven day. You know, always have to too, pay attention to this market cap. You know, if you're in a $5 million market cap, this thing could pump significantly. It could also drop to zero very fast. So as you guys can see, some of these coins even up 300%. You know, I'm, I'm never buying tops, but I am always speculative of these uh, coins that are low market cap and are kind of picking up in attention. Like, interesting, look at this. This chart looks not that bad, right? This is also creating a nice cup and handle with Bitcoin. Maybe a coin that I might want to do my research into. You know, it's still at a $17 million market cap. And um, it's still looking like very speculative. Um, but maybe a coin that might be worth some research. We can do our research just by copying this contract. And again, guys, it's just how I do my research. My research is, you know, nothing to say that my research is the be all end all. I have been in this space for a long time. I do track these transactions all the time. Um, but you know, I'm not saying that, uh, that you don't need to do your research. I'm telling you, you do need to do your research. So I'm doing, I'm going to do my research and you guys are going to be able to watch me do my research right now. And then you can go out and do your own research. Okay. So let's look at Kobe coin. As you guys could see up 34% today, um, coming in at 16 million market cap. This coin has, uh, 5,000 holders. I'm liking the holder to market cap ratio on this coin. It does look like the audits came back from Dex Tools. Again, guys, remember that these are automated audits, just like Dex Tools says. Dex Tools not responsible. I'm not responsible. Nobody responsible but you. Um, but as you guys could see, um, Dex Tools um, saying that they don't know if it has a scam risk or whatever. They don't know. Highly speculative. So what we want to do is we want to track transactions. Oh, look at that. We just passed that. Look, look how many trades have been made. That's a lot of trades. That's a lot of trades. So this is definitely something that I want to pay attention to. And I definitely want to see how much uh, liquidity these top holders are holding and also just kind of know who they are. So some of these people have, you know, good amount of money in this coin, but they're not holding um, too, too much. It doesn't seem like at least, you know, less than uh, less than 20 percent. But again, with the amount of transactions that has been going in and out of this contract, I'm definitely weary and I definitely want to go check into the contract to see where this money's going. And again, guys, I tell you guys that in every video that you guys need to learn how to check these contracts. So important. So, so important. Just as important as the audit is checking the contract. Because look, the audit came back as a 99. But look at this. Uh, look at this amount of transfers, guys. It's five, this is a 5,000 holder count coin. And it's had almost 2 million transactions. Guys, who is who's bringing this to your awareness on YouTube? Who? I don't know, dude. I really don't know. Um, but let's kind of just see what's going on. With some of these transactions, right? Let's see what's going on with the holders. Let's see if we could track these guys. I'll show you guys how I like to try to track these guys. So again, two million of these, two million have already been moved around. So we could find it a couple ways, right? 
One way that I like to find it is we can go into the trade history on Dex Tools, and sometimes Dex Tools will actually uh, just tell us if there's bots moving stuff around. A lot of Ethereum contracts, you'll see a little that little yellow tree that you've seen so many times in my videos where I'm talking about contracts. You'll see the little yellow tree that says that it's a bot or smart contract. You're not necessarily going to see that for Solana contracts, you guys could see, but you can see the fact that this guy has had 99 transactions in now. You know, you could see that this guy also, you know, and so maybe these wallets are possibly linked. You could see a lot of 99 plus transactions, a whole lot, a whole, whole lot. This is a humongous red flag. The fact that this coin even has 2 million transactions in and out of it is a humongous red flag. And it's enough for me to not even want to get involved with it. But um, again, we're doing our research and I want to show you guys the importance of checking contracts uh, because again, I want you guys to be safe. So um check this out let's see what's going oh boy did we find it oh did we find it on the first go bro did we find it on the first go how good am i i am incredible <laughs> dude look at this 1.8 million transactions i did we bro we found it we found it boys so let's see what is going on um with the coin what's the coin called the coin is called kobe let's see what's going on with kobe kobe coin Boom. Interesting. Why you got so many different versions of this contract, bruh? Oh, pump. Interesting. Were you the originator? Let's see. Okay, we're going to filter this and see if we can find it. All his transactions. Okay, so he said 858 transactions that we can see. Um, Interesting, boys. Interesting. This guy is definitely, definitely funding other wallets. He's definitely the one that is having this price impact. Again. The amount of transactions that's came out in and out of this wallet, totally sketchy. And the fact that this guy only has $500 left in it lets me know that um, a lot of this money that he had in these transactions went to different wallets. I don't need to sit here and click on each one to figure out where the money's going. I just know by looking at this one that this is enough for me to not want to get involved in a project like this at all. So I don't feel good about this project, even though it is looking like it's working its way up in, in um, price action, we could see that this price action is actually driven by bots. Isn't that important to know? Isn't that super important to know? I think that that's super important to know because again, I wanna know um, who's in my trade with me and that's the beauty of cryptocurrency is that you have access to this information. It's part of your due diligence, part of your research. That's why I tell you guys go out and do your research. Go out and figure out your, on your own you know, another coin that I talked about that I said was a scam was this coin. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about why I said that this was a scam. Oh, look, now it's saying that it is a scam. According to rugcheck.xyz, there's a risk of market manipulation due to large correlation of tokens held in one or more identified wallets. Guys, I told you. I told you about this coin. Now we're going to dissect how I knew that this coin was a scam. So as you guys could see, it's coming at a 48 million market cap and it's just absolutely being in squeeze, right? This thing looks like it goes up and then goes down, it gets squeezed, you know, and uh, let's let's look at the contract and kind of see what's going on on this one, right? So we can go and we could check out, um, let's go check them out over here. I already got it open anyway. Let's pull it up. Boom. Monkeypox. All right, here's monkeypox, guys. 2.5 million transactions. Again, guys, we know now scam, right? We don't need, we don't even need, we didn't need tokens, tr sniffer. We didn't need rug pull tracker. We didn't need none of that. None of that, bro. We didn't need none of that. We already know 2.5 million transactions with 30,000 uh, holders. Huge red flag, guys. 50, 48 million market cap. See, look, they're, they're mimicking what would look like a, a pretty good setup to, uh, even somebody that has a good eye. Like this is a coin that again, I clicked on because I, I want to do my research and see like, hmm, holder count to, to market cap. That's looking pretty interesting. But again, you the people that have been in the space, we know how to check a contract. So 2.5 million transactions, that ain't gonna work for me, boy. That ain't gonna work for me at all. Also, look at this, look at the holder count, 65%. Guys, do you see why I tell you guys to check them top holders? 65% of people holding this are in this one wallet. And as a matter of fact, guys, I made a whole video and it was called how to spot a rug pull on Dex tools. And uh, this coin was mentioned in that video. So now uh, you guys could see they actually have a warning over here because uh, this coin has been reported so many times as being a scam. Um, but again, 
I already knew that this coin was a scam. I called this coin out already. Um, so there's there's scams out here, guys. You got to pay attention. Like, I would be paying attention um, to all these holders, all this stuff. Um, here's another silly little coin that was picking up in volume. Again, not telling you guys to buy it. I was even telling you then that this coin was totally crazy. Skibbity Toilet, <laughs> down 21% today. Yikes. I don't know if a project like Skibbity Toilet can make it back, guys. I really don't. As you guys can see, this thing created a nasty rising wedge, and this might have been the top for Skibbity Toilet, guys. I don't know what to say. I'm not trying to foot up your community if you're a part of Skibbity Toilet. I'm just trying to let you know, man, that this is a piece of crap coin, and uh, I don't think Skibbity Toilet has much of a future, guys. I really don't. As you guys can see, it's up 981% in the past 30 days. It's up in the past 14 days, 300%. Past seven days, up 134%. But I would expect a pretty big market correction in this. And I would probably expect this thing to do a dead cat bounce, uh, which is basically it just kind of fizzles out and rejects, rejects, rejects off of all. Like kind of right here, it kind of did a dead cat bounce. But then look, it picked up in volume, right? So that that's just kind of something that happens in cryptocurrency. Sometimes, you know, you'll get a little bit of price action and then, oh, it's breaking resistance. Now all of a sudden, you know, things are breaking, breaking, breaking. But Again, a project like Skibbity Toilet, I don't see that getting listed anywhere. I, I, I can't foresee that getting listed on Binance. Maybe I'm wrong. Again, it's just speculation, guys. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a professional. I'm nothing. I'm just a guy who's been doing this for like 10 years, five years on YouTube, and I'm just a guy who owns a computer. That's it. No better than you, bro. No better than you. Um, but GME is another stock, too, that people were looking at. Let's see this coin, GME. A lot of people um, have been looking at GME. As you guys could see, it was starting to pick up in volume, but it is looking like it's possibly seeing a rejection. So I would want to know why, right? Is it just seeing this price action due to Bitcoin? Or is there something concerning that I need to know about these holders? You know your boy CryptoJ is going to find out about these holders and uh, do my research. Because that's what responsible people do, their research. And that's why I tell you guys to do your research. Let's go see. GME. All right, GME. 11, trans 11 million transactions. 48,000 holders. I don't like this at all. No me gusta. No me gusta. It is, it is uh, listed over here on Gate.io. Uh, it's on BitGet, it's on MXC, but just too many transactions for me, bro. And a project like GME, like GameStop, like, come on, bro. You know what these guys are about. They're about this kind of stuff right here. They're about manipulating the market and stuff like that. And I, I'm not with that. So I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. Again, I'm not trying to fold up your project. If you're part of uh, this GME coin right here, maybe... It will pump. Maybe it won't. I don't know. It's always speculative in cryptocurrency, right? But again, just the sheer amount of bots in this trade is just absolutely something for me to be like, I don't I don't need to play with that many bots, dude. Why would I want to compete against that many bots? That's totally crazy. It also lets me know, like, how many of these 48,000 holders are even real wallets? Like, how many of these are, like, duplicate wallets and stuff like that are just going to sell like that? I don't want to be the guy, you know? I don't want to be the guy holding the bags at the end, um, and neither do you, especially if it's a poo-poo coin. Because, guys, you have to understand that 99% of these coins are going to go to poo-poo. <laughs> they they just are. They just are. So um, it is what it is. 99% of these meme coins in cryptocurrency are not going to do well, and that's why you need to um, not be greedy when you get into these meme coins, I would say. That would be uh, the best thing that I would tell you guys to do. I uh, can't tell you what to do with your money, but I, I would definitely advise you to not be greedy, uh, especially in meme coins. This is a highly speculative asset. I don't even know if I would classify this as an asset. This is like gambling, guys. You're gambling doing this, okay? We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know the future. And some of these coins have absolutely no utilities and no roadmap. So, like, what what even are you investing in, bro? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, have, a, have an exit strategy. That's up to you what your strategy is. Again, guys, I don't give you guys strategies. I just talk about what's trending on Dex Tools uh, week in and week out and um, give you guys some stuff that you might want to go do your research on. But at the end of the day, guys, you're responsible. I'm not your advisor, not your financial advisor for the 100th time. 
you do want to come trade with your boy Crypto J though and uh, hear about some of the coins that are being talked about in my private Telegram, all you got to do is share this video over on Twitter and at JTalks Crypto. I'm going to invite all you guys to come trade with your boy Crypto J. And again, guys, the stuff that goes on in that group also is not financial advice. We just talk about things that are trending and it's just about crypto talk. So again, don't go in there with your wallet out looking for uh, the hot coin to buy. That's not what this is about. That's not what this channel is about. We're about education. I just showed you guys how to track a whole bunch of wallets and I'm trying to provide value. So again, go out there, be responsible, do your own research, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.